Hi, everybody. I, here I am. Hello. I am going to teach you how to make this beautiful, magical flower using white oil pastels and watercolor paint. So what you will need for this project is watercolor paint, <clears throat> a glass of water, a paintbrush, <clears throat> excuse me, a sponge, and a white piece of paper. So to start, I'm gonna move this out of the way. To start, you are going to draw a flower. You can draw whatever kind of flower you want. I am going to, well, you won't even be able to see what I'm doing because I'm using a white oil pastel on a white piece of paper. So I will tell you what I'm doing, but you won't be able to see it because this is where the magic comes in. So you are going to start by taking your oil pastel and putting it about in the middle of your paper and just making a long curved line for the stem of the flower. Then maybe about mm, a finger width above that, you're going to draw a circle. Look on there, if you look carefully, you can see the white oil pastel. So you'll make your circle about a finger width above the curved line. So that's a circle, probably about the size of maybe a nickel or a dime, so maybe about that big. So it's the middle of your flower. Now, you're going to go around using a bumpy line around the circle, you are going to create a bumpy line for the petals of the flower. So you just go bump around, bump, bump, bump. Make sure you're pressing hard enough because you want it to stick down all the way but not so hard that you break the oil pastel. Then, I'm going to make my little fancier. I'm gonna make some petals behind it, like that. I'm just doing bumpy lines right behind that you can't really see, but I'm gonna go all the way around just to make it a little fancier to fill it in. All right, so I'm almost done. Are you almost done? If not, go ahead and pause. All right, now I have my flower drawn and you can't see it at all. Now, I'm gonna put some leaves on it just because I wanna put some extra fancy stuff. To make a leaf, you're just going to have a, a line that curves one way and then the other at the tippy end, all right? So curve it and up, and then just a curved line on the other side. And then I'm going to make a one on the other side as well, same method, a curvy line that goes up to the other side and then a curved line down, all right? So here I go. Oh, that one's not as neat, but that's okay and then back down. All right, now, <clears throat> I have an invisible flower on my paper and you should too. It does not have to be the exact kind of flower I made. It can be whatever kind you want. Here comes the magic. <clears throat> Set your oil pastel to the side, get your oil pastel, or your watercolors. Open them up. <clears throat> First step of watercolors, you have to wake up your paints. They are sleeping. I'm going to take my paintbrush and drip some water on each color. So I put it on a little bit of red, go get a little more, put it on orange, put a little more on yellow. Now today I am not using black and brown, so I am not going to wake them up. No sense in getting them awake because they are not going to be used. All right, so I'm putting drips of, color, of water on each of the colors that I'm going to use. All right, they are awake. Now I wanna make sure my paintbrush is clean. Now. She's very wet right now, the ballerina paintbrush, because I put her all the way down in the water. See how I'm squishing her a little bit on the bottom? So I'm going to do a crisscross on my sponge, X, X, to get that extra water off. But now it's too dry. So I'm gonna just tip it in, little tippy end. And now I'm going to start with red. Remember, ballerina, she dances on her tiptoes around the top of the paint not on her bubbly butt because then you will ruin your paint and your brush and the ballerina will be sad. You can also think of it like you are petting a puppy over the surface with your paintbrush. All right, I've got paint on. I am now painting across the top of my paper with the red. If it's not dark enough, just go back and scoop up a little more paint by brushing across the top and then go back and painting again. I'm gonna do about an inch or so of paint. Can you see that in the video? About that much, maybe a little bit more. All right, so now my red is ready to go. Before you start a new color, you must, must, must clean your paintbrush or you wreck your paints and we are sad. So put it back in, put her in the tub, 
dance around the bottom, really squish her down there to get all the paint off. Tap, tap, X, X, small dip, and color number two. Here we go, we're going to orange. All right, just dancing around the top, petting the puppy dog. I think this is the one that the magic is gonna happen on. Ready? All right, so I'm painting my orange across the top. If you touch the red where it's still wet, you will also see a magic there. It's called um, wet on wet watercolor technique. It goes like, it's really cool. So if that happens, you're lucky. Mine's not doing it. Oh, the magic is starting for me with orange. All right, I'm gonna go get a little more, a little bit more water, just a touch, a little more orange. Is that magic happening for you? Did you see magic happen? It's very exciting magic. All right, painting across, and then I'll show you my magic. I'm almost all the way across my orange. And there's just a little tiny bit of magic. Do you see it? My flower is starting to appear. I'm so excited. All right, I'm done with orange. So I'm going to go squish, 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 squish. Tap, tap, crisscross, dip, new color. I'm going to yellow. Remember, you don't have to do rainbow. I am doing rainbow because I am in a rainbow sort of mood. And that's how it goes. All right, I'm putting down the yellow. Here it goes. There's going to be more magic this time. I just know it. All right, here it goes. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yay! Oh, I see a spot where I didn't push down hard enough. Boo. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm not going to be that sad. I'll get over it. All right, pushing down. Oh, look at it. It's a flower. Lovely. My yellow's almost done. Oops, I missed a spot. Go back over it. Excellent. All right, washing my paintbrush. Squish, squish, squish. Tap, tap, tap. Criss, cross, dip. Moving on to green. All right, this is all I'm going to do until I get to the end. So if you want to turn off the video, I am pretty much done showing everything that's going to be shown except for the end product, which you saw at the beginning. So if you want to turn it off, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to keep talking my way through it as I paint. So I am now on green. I'm coming across. I'm getting lots of magic this time. It's very exciting. All right go back and get a little more paint now you'll notice and you probably have with your experience that when you get the new paint it's darker if you have less water so less water more paint equals darker color so if you ever want your color to be lighter you would use more water and if you want it to be darker you would obviously use less water okay cleaning my brush tap tap crisscross little dip blue all right almost done Ooh, my blue is nice and wet maybe this will be a good chance for me to show you the wet on wet it happened in my other one I'll show you it in a second as soon as I get done putting down my blue because I want to move so that I can okay it's nice and wet so I'm gonna go quick clean my brush tap tap crisscross dip grab the violet and put them right next to each other. Oh, it just missed two. Oh, no, there it goes. So if you look, see how it's swooshing up and going up into the blue? That's because the blue was still wet when I laid the violet down next to it. So if you want the same thing, you just need to keep your color a little bit wet <clears throat> and then put the next color on next to it. And then when it dries, you can see in this one right here with the blue and the violet, you can see how it blends together. It's very beautiful. I really like it. All right, so I'm almost done with my violet. I didn't quite use enough color at the top, which is okay. I have a little white strip at the bottom. I have to decide what I want to do with that. Hmm. Maybe I'll make my purple a little wet <clears throat> and I'll add a little bit of red at the bottom and see if I can get it to blend together because I really liked that. Okay, I just put down some water on top of my violet cleaning, swooshing, dipping. Okay, I'm gonna go get some red. Let's see if I can get it to go. Yep, woohoo. So now I have almost like a red purple at the bottom where the two colors have blended together where I did the wet on wet. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna show you my finished product, especially the bottom part. If you see at the bottom, oops, it's running because it's wet. That's actually kind of cool too, I like that. So see how it's all blending together down here. And this is my finished magic flower.
I hope you enjoyed creating. I hope yours came out as great as mine did. Thanks. Bye.